Today, I went to St. Louis Children's Hospital for surgery. When we got there, my mom parked in the visitor garage. We parked on the zebra level. We took the elevator to the second floor bridge where we got to see some cool trains on the ceiling. We checked in at the information desk where we got our very own sticker badges. Thank you, you too. Once we were all checked in, we rode the green atrium elevators all the way to the sixth floor. The elevator even had a voice telling us when we arrived on the floor. Sixth floor. When we arrived, we got to walk through the weighing room and see a big fish tank. The purple fish were my favorite. We checked in at the waiting room desk Hi, where a nice lady took my mom's information and gave me a little stuffed animal. We sat in the waiting room and I got to watch my favorite TV show until the nurse called my name. How are you today? Good, we're gonna go back and get ready for your day, okay? My nurse took us to a small hallway where I got to see how big and tall I am. She also took my temperature with a thermometer that went across my forehead. There you go. Before taking me to my room, she got me fish pajamas and socks with grippers on them so I don't slip on the floor. We're gonna head right over here into room 32. We walked down the hallway to my room called the pre-op room where there was a bed with wheels and a chair for my mom. There was even a TV with a remote control that I could use myself. Before having me put my jammies on, my nurse gave me a band-aid for my finger that glowed red to check my breathing. She also gave me a muscle tester for my arm to check my blood pressure. It squeezed a little bit, and then it was all done. I got a bracelet with my name and birthday on it, and a special number that belonged just to me. My dinosaur even got a matching bracelet. The nurse told me that for my surgery, I needed to use some warm wipes to get my skin extra clean. We did the wipe down and put my awesome fish jammies and gripper socks on. My nurse told me that I would get to meet all the people taking care of me for the day. First, I met the nurse practitioner from the anesthesia team. How are you? She asked my mom and me a lot of questions about my health and explained the way I would fall asleep for my surgery. She let me know that the anesthesiologist would use a mask to help me drift off to sleep for surgery. Some kids that are older or taller than me might get a tiny straw called an IV for their sleepy medicine. How are you doing? Next, a child life specialist came into my room. She helped explain exactly what my day would be like and tried to help me feel less nervous about my surgery. She also let me paint my anesthesia mask with a yummy smell. I chose birthday cake. Hey, come on the next person that came into my room was the doctor that would be doing my surgery. He's a Washington University physician. He explained things to my mom and me and made a little mark on my foot. Then I met the anesthesiologist, my sleepy doctor for surgery. She answered my mom's questions and helped me feel better about how I was going to fall asleep. Finally, it was time to go to the operating room. All the doctors and nurses from the operating room were wearing blue and had silly hats on their heads. I gave hugs and high fives to my mom. The nurse from the operating room helped push my bed down the hallway. It was fun to take a ride on the bed. We passed through the operating room doors and I saw lots of colorful pictures on the ceiling. Once we were in the operating room, a nurse helped me get onto a different bed and I got to lie my head on a pillow that looked like a strawberry donut. I saw big round lights above my bed. These helped the doctor see me better. There was a cart with a machine that held my sleeping medicine, and I could see my heartbeat on a special monitor. My nurse put stickers on my chest and tummy, and I got to wear the Band-Aid for my finger and the muscle tester again. None of these things hurt at all. Then my nurse put a seatbelt across me to keep me safe. My sleepy doctor put my birthday cake flavored mask over my nose and mouth and asked me to take deep breaths. Before I could count to 10, I was asleep. When my surgery was done, I woke up from my nap in the recovery room. My mom was able to come and see me. How are you? The recovery room nurse listened to my heart and gave my arm a hug with the blood pressure cuff. 
I still had the stickers on my chest and tummy and my finger band-aid. I also saw a small tube with a plastic cover on it. My nurse explained that it was the IV straw giving me medicine to help me feel better. After waking up a little more, I went back to the room where I started my day. My nurse brought me an orange popsicle and some juice to drink. Before I went home, she took my IV out. It kind of felt like a band-aid coming off. Finally, it was time to go home. Since I was still a little sleepy, I got to ride in a wheelchair to get back to my car. Thanks St. Louis Children's Hospital for making my surgery day less scary for me.